With the livestock industry on high alert for potential disease threats, lawmakers and industry experts are working on preventative solutions like a foot and mouth disease vaccine bank. Sarah Mock has more from Capitol Hill. Foot and mouth disease haunts the pork industry. While the U.S. has been free of the disease since 1929, Absolutely. it's an ever-present threat. The impact of an outbreak of any size would be tremendous. I mean, Iowa State University did a study that calculated that the cost to just the pork, beef, corn, and soybean industries alone would be almost $200 billion over 10 years. And over that 10-year period, probably result in the loss of about 1.5 million jobs. A big chunk of that is the fact that trade export markets would shut down immediately if we got a foot and mouth disease. Pork industry advocates and veterinarians say a vaccine bank is the ideal solution for combating this disease. They hope to get this program funded through the 2018 Farm Bill. It really would be difficult for industry to recover, almost impossible without the vaccine bank. Unless the U.S. makes this investment, we don't have that option because the current world production of vaccine is already being utilized in countries that do currently have foot and mouth disease. So unfortunately there is no wait and buy it when you need it option. Vaccine bank advocates found a ready ally in our veterinarian in chief, Ag Secretary Sonny Perdue. Uh, I look at vaccine, vaccine banks as insurance and uh, <clears throat> you can't have your house burned down and take out insurance after the fact. You got to have a vaccine uh, availability ahead of the time. So I look at it as a, uh, a wise insurance program. Though lawmakers are supportive of vaccine banks, they're cautious about extreme budgetary challenges in the next farm bill. The key to all this is where do you get the money? Uh, how do you fund all this? Uh, you know, the industry as a whole, uh, the livestock industry as a whole, they, they want to have funding for uh, disease prevention and surveillance. Uh, the industry would like to have $150 million uh, annually for the vaccine bank. Uh, that's a lot of money. Uh, the diagnostic and, and uh, other surveillance tools that are going to be necessary, that's going to require a good bit of money too. So at the end of the day, it's going to come, do come down to uh, just how much money can we secure. The livestock industry is serious about prioritizing a vaccine bank in this farm bill. Though foot and mouth disease hasn't been seen in the U.S. in decades, an outbreak in the U.K. in the mid-2000s necessitated the destruction of millions of animals and devastated the British livestock sector. American farmers hope to avoid a similar fate. For RFD-TV, Sarah Mock, Washington. Experts say more than 10 million doses of the vaccine would be needed to address a foot and mouth disease outbreak in the U.S. livestock industry. Foot and mouth disease threatens all cloven hoof livestock, including pigs, beef, sheep, and goats.